Good afternoon Jeep Jeepers and welcome back. So today we're going to be getting rid of all the defects on Brum the Jeep. So over the past week I've had the windscreen replaced on Brum the Jeep and I've replaced the tail light. Now the only thing we need to do today is uh, fit the mud flaps. Now luckily luckily enough that my mate Jake had some mud flaps laying around off his old Jeep. So big thanks to Jake. Definitely owe you a cold beer for that one mate. So we're going to try and fit those. Those are the original mud flaps of his TJ so they should uh, bulk straight up. But I do have the different fenders so they might mm, look a bit weird so we might have to play around with that and try to make them fit properly um, and see what we can do with that. But I had the windscreen replaced, so all up the windscreen costs uh, $253. There was including a replacement seal, um, but it was funny because the company the, who replaced it, RECQ, um, gave me two different quotes. First quote they gave me was $295 without the um, rubber around the windscreen being replaced. So I had that booked in later in the week, called another company um, who was located about an hour away and they passed me on to the Sunshine Coast branch or whatever you want to call them. Um, and they quoted me 250 including the windscreen uh, rubber. So they came out um, and I was waiting a week for them to turn up and RECQ turned up. So the same person, people he quoted me 290 came out and did it for 250 so I don't know how they sort their pricing out but uh, they should really get it sorted before they actually start quoting um, the same thing but for a completely different price so $250 all up uh, they came out to my work and did it so that was really convenient um, I got a replacement taillight bulb for $3.50 from Super Cheap Auto and just today we've got to replace the well install and Hopefully they look good. My flaps, um, and I got those for um, free from my mate Jake, who took them off his Jeep, but sold his Jeep, so didn't really need them anymore. But still, I'm a beer at some point, so thank you for that. Um, but let's get onto it and see how they go. So, because these are factory um, mud flaps, it should be as easy as just going like one, two, three. Oh, that didn't fucking work. All right, let's show that again. One, two, three, and and they're on. Um, so, with the original flaps, they mud mud flaps. They bolted through this hole here, but with the aftermarket guards, I just drilled through the flap um, and bolted it um, through the bolt holes through the guards, and it should bolt up there. But um, there's a big little gap there that I'm not really too fussed on, so not too happy with that. And they don't look, I mean, they look okay, but they don't look overly that great. Mm. But on the flaps, mud flaps, should stop calling them flaps, I've got like a little extended bit on them that says. Um, so, what I might do is I might pull those off and just bolt, um, kind of like tuck it under like, in that, and bolt it to the like little up there and maybe bolt it to the inside of plastic behind that. So, let's do, I'll do this side as a practice and if that works out alright, I'll show you guys how I did it on the opposite side.
All right, so I think that looks a lot better. I still need to put the other bolt um, in the plastic on the opposite side to just make sure it. Oh, I'm a bit of an angle there. That's better. Still need to put the bolt on the opposite side to make sure everything's tight. But all I've done is I've put a bolt and a nut on the back of. Can you see in there? Probably not. Put a nut and bolt uh, through the rubber, drilled a hole through the plastic, and just um, thread it through and tighten it up. So, what I want to do is secure that one maybe about there. So, if I put it there, it should look something like that. Uh, there is a few holes there from um, where it was connected on the original mud flap. <laughs> There, so I might put. I've got a few of these bolts and little screws left over, so I might um, paint them black and put them through there, or leave them silver so it kind of matches the guards. I'm not sure. Um, let me know what you guys think if I should paint them black or I should leave them silver. Um, but let's get the other bolt in, mock up this side, um, and I'll run you through what we've got. I'll run you guys through um, how we're doing it on the opposite side and then we're pretty much done. So I'm just about to drill into the plastic here to be able to put the bolt through. So whenever you're drilling through plastic or something that you can't really see what's on the other side, just make sure you have a quick look. Um, make sure there's no like like in there, make sure there's no, like there's a wire there for maybe the tail light or something. Make sure there's no fuel lines um, or wires behind there that you might drill into because um, you don't want to damage something else and end up having to fix that. But I've had to, I've jacked the Jeep up, it's waving you at us right now, um, just so I can get that drill in there um, and just drill for the plastic and that, and that should sit about there and that should be enough to hold it in place because um, it's only like like plastic so it's supposed to stop dirt and whatever and keep the coppers happy but drill through that place the bolt through there uh, through the flap and there and screw it on um, from inside there and it should be good to go so that's done once again drill through the um, plastic clip there and through the plastics on that side. Now it's pretty strong. It's going to be strong enough to um, drive down the road and do some forward driving. But it's pretty much done. Um, now I'm just going to take them off, give them a clean up, and probably put the bolts through there, and that's pretty much it.